Welcome to the 11th Annual Historic Preservation Award Ceremony. My name is Daniel Shu, and I serve as the chairman for the Virginia Committee. And um, before we get started, I want to acknowledge some special guests we have with us. Um, we have Margaret Fire Robin from Bristol, Tennessee, and uh, Michael Pollard from Virginia, and Jake Holmes from Bristol, Virginia. We're glad you all got to uh, celebrate with us tonight. <clears throat> so we're really thrilled this year to uh, combine our awards program with the Tennessee Historic Preservation Award Committee. And with that, I would like to recognize our committee members, all our committee members. Uh, Catherine Brillhart is our vice chair, Whitney Ma Manahan, secretary, Brenda Otis, and Charles Flanagan, all on the uh, Virginia Committee. Susan Tanner, Deborah Kennedy, Rebecca Wilkerson, Lucia Schneider, Maggie Elliott, Vicki Mitteray, Andrew Snyder, and Karen Bateman for the Tennessee Committee. And I'd like to recognize uh, photographer Nina Rizzo for her contribution. Uh, these beautiful photos, which you can't see, were taken by her. Uh, and staff from both sides, including but not limited to Ann Dunham, Heather Moore, Brennan Dye, Sherith Young, Jay Dietrich, and Rick Belcher. And we're thankful tonight for the train station. Uh, we're, we're so happy to have a venue like this to celebrate in. Uh, the mission of our committees is to, rec is to encourage excellence in preservation and thereby inspire even more preservation of our beloved old buildings by recognizing and honoring property owners and or developers who engage in high quality preservation projects in one or more of our numerous historic districts. The property owners we are recognizing tonight invested their time, physical labor, and monetary resources in their properties as a labor of love. No matter how large or small the project, any investment in preserving an old building is a huge investment in our community that will benefit our citizens for years to come. These efforts play a role in developing safer, more vibrant neighborhoods while preserving the rich history, culture, character and landscape of our cities. Tonight's award recipients were chosen from nominations from the general public. And if you would like to nominate a property for 2025, you can before March 31st, 2025, by going on www.bristolva.org for Virginia and www.bristoltn.org slash preservation awards for the Tennessee side. So tonight we honor the past while embracing the future. We have some past winners here and I wanna thank you again for your investment in our community. So I would like to present the 2024 Bristol Virginia Historic Preservations, Preservation Awards. And I would like to invite our mayor, Becky Nave, up to hand out the awards and Catherine Brillhart. <laughs> so the, the winner of the Commercial District Award goes to Bonnie Flinner and Clinton Holly for their property at 152 Lee Street. Built in 1909, the three-story brick building located at 152 Lee Street is now home to the Ernest Tube, a recording studio that pays homage to the 1927 recordings known as the Big Bang of country music. Since purchasing the property, owners Bonnie Flinner and Clinton Holly had restored the building by removing a 1990-era stucco facade, installing display windows, and preserving the original circular windows, painting, and adding access to a second-floor residential area. The front door has been painstakingly restored, creating an entrance that takes visitors back to the building's earliest days. For us to give the building a new life, 
to bring back kind of the the retro uh, storefront on it and bring that kind of feeling of what Bristol was like say before the automobile took over I always think about at one time Bristol was probably mostly pointed towards the train station because that was how people got in and out of Bristol and until cars became the thing and everything rotated to State Street this was probably the hot district of Bristol at the time and we're really just one of the few surviving buildings uh, in that district so it means a lot to us to preserve, preserve that history and to let people kind of have that feeling of maybe what the city was like before the automobile became our primary mode of transportation. I, I think that there's also um, so much potential uh, in downtown Bristol and it's a very vibrant downtown and there's still a lot of opportunities for people to take over um, buildings that need a little TLC or homes that need some TLC. Um, the potential for our community is is huge and I really think that it just takes one person at a time and that one person will uh, duplicate into another person and then another person will come and it'll build on each uh, group's effort and um, one day there won't be any properties left to restore and that would be a beautiful thing. The City of Bristol, Virginia is proud to present the Downtown Commercial Historic District Award for 2024 to Bonnie Flinner and Clinton Holly. I know that Clint and Bonnie would want me to say thank you to all of you guys that work so hard on historic preservation and, um, and I know that they would want me to thank you for this award. The Solar Hill Historic District Award goes to Susan and Clyde Long for their property at 820 Sycamore Street. The 1925 bungalow located at 820 Sycamore Street had been vacant for several years and was badly in need of attention when Susan and Clyde Long purchased the historic home in the heart of the Solar Hill District. New boards and a metal gable roof were installed to stop numerous leaks that threatened the structural integrity of the house. Once the most critical repairs had been made, the chimney was rebuilt, new gutters and downspouts were installed, and the crumbling brick foundation was repaired. Other exterior improvements include the installation of a wood and glass door that was savaged from a similar home, reglazing of the home's windows, and the installation of period-style porch lights to replace modern lights that were not consistent with the style of the home. A three-color paint scheme in earth tones completed the restoration project. Well, uh, we had noticed that uh, this house had been on the market for a number of years, and uh, it had uh, attractive uh, bungalow architectural features, and uh, so it was it was uh, you know kind of uh, intriguing home in that respect, although it was in very very bad condition. So the first thing there was put put the roof uh, on, and then um, um, we went ahead and uh, um, realized that uh, it was a re it was a contributing structure to the Solar Hill Historic District. So that's what uh, prompted us to buy it to uh, restore it to its original condition. Well, we've always loved history, both of us, and uh, and. That's why we live in an old house. And uh, everybody that lives in an old house knows that there are a lot of work, but new houses are a lot of work too, but we just feel like old houses have a lot more to give and a lot more soul. And so restoring it was not easy. You know, we had, the first thing we did was put on a new roof to secure it. We had to rebuild the chimney because at some point in history that had been knocked off during re-roofing probably. Um, all new gutters, period style, and downspouts, and uh, re we had to replace some of the shingles on the main gable. and. Of course, everything had to be painted, and we did research uh, online on bungalows, and we found that most bungalows were painted three colors, and they were traditionally earth tones, so you know how you look at color wheels, so we had the color wheels for weeks, and finally decided on some colors, and it was a lot of work, um, and it was a lengthy process, but it's just so gratifying to know that you've saved a piece of Bristol's history, as well as um, restoring a blighted property to its former beauty. The City of Bristol is honored tonight to recognize Susan and Clyde Long with the 2024 Solar Hill Historic District Award for their outstanding efforts to preserve the 1920s bungalow at 820 Sycamore Street. So 
our last award is a very special one. It is our Stewardship Award. And tonight we're recognizing Brittany and Tyler Rutherford for their amazing work in our downtown area. Brittany from Cairo, Michigan, and Tyler from Bristol, Tennessee, have done an amazing job on repairing historic buildings while giving them new uses. They purchased the first 1904 building in 2017 and then the 1890 building next door. Their hard work has given, uh, <clears throat> sorry, their hard work has given that whole block a huge facelift while increasing property value for the neighboring buildings. The investment that goes into restoring buildings of this scale is enormous and we owe a huge thank you to them. These are not only attractive buildings, but they provide much needed housing and locations for business to operate. They plan to do even more to other properties in the future. So thank you all for your contribution. I would just like to say uh, thank you to both cities for this, uh, for this award and to Daniel Hsu and all the committee members for your hard work in putting together this event. And I would also like to take a moment to recognize somebody. Um, Mike Rhodes, would you please stand? Uh, Mike Rhodes it was our contractor for both 501 and 503. Uh, he's with Associated Builders and Mike and his team just did a fabulous job. Um, just Yeah, they just did a really good job. And um, as you can imagine, renovating a historic building comes with a lot of fine print, if you will, a lot of attention to detail, but Mike was uh, is very knowledgeable and he just, uh, just did a great job. So uh, thanks, Mike. All right, I'm gonna turn it over to Sheriff Young now for the Tennessee Awards. Good evening, everyone. Um, so my name is Sherith Young, and I'm the Community Development Director for the City of Bristol, Tennessee. Um, it's a very, um, it's a, it's a wonderful night to be here. Wonderful building, wonderful group, wonderful outside. So, um, thank you for coming tonight. Um, we on the Tennessee side echo the sentiments that Daniel shared at the beginning, um, are very excited to recognize and celebrate historic preservation in the city, both cities, um, and to recognize the people that have put so much love, blood, sweat, and tears into these properties over the year. Um, Bristol, Tennessee selects an award winner in each of the city's national registered uh, districts, so that means the Fairmount neighborhood, the Holston Avenue neighborhood and the downtown National Register Historic District. Uh, the Tennessee side also selects one winner anywhere in the city uh, that, that represents um, excellence in historic preservation work. Um, this year we were fortunate to have um, multiple exemplary uh, folks and buildings nominated uh, for an award. And the awards chosen tonight were uh, selected because they represented a commitment to sensitive renovations a very positive impact on the community for their overall quality of work and because they do serve as an example to other historic preservation projects um, in the city. Um, tonight we'll start with our downtown district. So the winner for the Bristol Downtown Commercial Historic District uh, is Alan Hurley for his work at 815 Shelby Street. The two-story brick building at 815 Shelby Street is often referred to as the Wicker Glass Building, but a deep dive into the archives revealed that the building was originally the manufacturing center for Eagle Overall Company. Known for its quality overalls, riding pants, and corduroy suits, Eagle was established around 1904 and moved to Shelby Street in 1910 after the company's Moore Street building was heavily damaged by fire. The 10,000 square foot structure was unique in its day because it was the first industrial building in Bristol with electric power. J.R. Delaney served as the company president and according to the Bristol Evening News of 1910, Eagle employed nearly 100 persons, chiefly women and girls. From 1940 to 1979, the building was home to Bristol Auto Parts. Lloyd's Beauty Training Center, Druggins Junior College, and Wicker Glass all occupied the building in later years. 
Bristol businessman Alan Hurley purchased the building at auction in November 2015 and immediately went to work giving new life to the historic structure. In addition to significant interior renovations, he installed new windows, removed deteriorating wood awnings, cleaned the facade, and applied a fresh coat of paint. The building now has space for two commercial tenants. Well, we love this building. I don't really know exactly what drew us to this building, but I've loved this building for many, many years. I love the fact, uh, to point you earlier, it's a standalone building. There's not many standalone buildings downtown. So we kind of love that. We kind of love the architecture of the building with the old block, the way they're done. It's, you know, I take a tremendous amount of pride in these, in these buildings, in our community. Um, this is our community. Um, there's so many people downtown that have worked to try to revitalize downtown over the years. And when we come in in 2010 and started just being one more spoke in the wheel, it just accented and all the work that those people have done for so many years. The Downtown Commercial Historic District Award for 2024 is presented to Alan Hurley for his work to preserve the building at 815 Shelby Street and once again make it a part of Bristol's vibrant commercial district. Well, thank you. I'm Denise Myers. I'm the president of Vision and here for Alan. Alan's traveling. He's been actually all over the country this week with uh, one of our other companies and really wanted to be here this evening. And um, I kind of scored because I got his lovely daughter, Jasmine, to accompany us. And Jasmine is kind of taking a large role in several of the opportunities that we have to serve Bristol. And we're so grateful, but certainly grateful that uh, this building has been recognized by the Historic Association and, and, and all of the work that goes into that, like everyone before us has said, you, you pour a lot into it. Our community is amazing and um, I'll let Jasmine just, say, just share a word from her dad. She's here speaking on his behalf. Let her share a little bit um, um, on his behalf. Thank you very much for everyone. Thank you, Denise. Uh, everything we do, honestly, is credit to Denise. She's absolutely amazing in everything she does. Uh, thank you for this award on behalf of my dad and my family. He's raised my brother and I to have a love for Bristol the same way he has. And it's just great to be in a community that has other individuals with that same love. So thank you guys once again for this. All right, thank you all. Um, up next we have our award for the Holston Avenue Neighborhood Historic District. Uh, this year's Holston, oh I'm sorry, we've gotten a little out of order again. Fairmount Snick. Okay. I apologize, Daniel. That make you feel better. Um, I'm right there with you. Um, so tonight we have for our Fairmount Neighborhood Historic District Award, um, Barry and Kelly Frisbee at 700 Pennsylvania Avenue. Located in the heart of Bristol's Fairmount District, the two-story Queen Anne House at 700 Pennsylvania Avenue was built around 1890. The original property deed was signed by tobacco tycoon R.J. Reynolds, who sold the lot to John and Sarah Buffum of Boston for $400, paving the way for them to settle in Bristol and establish Buffum's Mill. The company later became Bristol Door and Lumber Company. The stately home features a brick foundation with sections of stone, weatherboard siding, a cross gable roof with box cornice and gable end brackets, and an impressive wraparound porch with wood railings and columns situated on brick piers. The primary entrance is offset and features a glass door with side lights. The house had fallen into a state of serious disrepair when Sandy Armstrong, the winner of Bristol, Tennessee's 2022 Stewardship Award for Historic Preservation, purchased it at auction and began extensive renovations both inside and out. Notable improvements to the exterior include new double-hung windows that mimic the original style, replacement trim, concrete and brick repairs, and a fresh coat of paint. Now home to Barry and Kelly Frisbee, both veterans of the U.S. Army, the home holds all the charm they hoped for when they decided to settle in Bristol. Fresh landscaping, courtesy of the Frisbees, has added to the home's overall charm. After 40 years of marriage, she's always wanted a historic home, and she saw this one and fell in love with it. Uh, the details and the craftsmanship that was put into this house, from what I hear, took two years of, to uh, build. Uh, they've done a magnificent job with it. Sandy did such a good job of restoring the property that, you know, when we first saw it, she, she knew right then she wanted the house and uh, there was no changing her mind. <laughs> 
The City of Bristol, Tennessee is excited to present the 2024 Fairmount Historic District Award to Barry and Kelly Frisbee, newcomers to our community who have become caretakers of the stately home at 700 Pennsylvania Avenue. I think the video pretty much said everything that we wanted to say about the house. Uh, Sandy Armstrong did such a fantastic job. We've put a few of our personal little touches on it in the three years we've been here, but there was just it was just such immaculate condition when we bought it that uh, everything she'd done we just loved. Uh, for 40 years she's been wanting a historic home, like I said, and I've been moving her around the country and making her buy new homes for 40 years. So she twisted my arm, and we love the place. We love Bristol. We've been here three years and. Uh, we're fitting right in and just loving the place. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so now we'll go back to the Holston Avenue Neighborhood Historic District. Um, this year's winners, uh, George and Junella McClellan, 904 7th Avenue. The 1920s Craftsman Bungalow at 904 7th Avenue was originally the home of K.A. Grandstaff and his wife Juliet. Mr. Grandstaff came to Bristol from the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia in 1902 and served as a partner and treasurer of King Printing Company until his death in 1933. The picturesque house in this quaint neighborhood served as the couple's home for much of that time. Situated in the heart of Bristol's Holston Historic District, the home features a brick basement with cedar shake shingles, square columns, exposed beams, two exterior brick chimneys, and an inviting front porch with a full-length gable roof and dental molding. A one-story garage to the rear of the house once served as the servants' quarters, but is now used as a guest house. George and Janella McClellan purchased the house in 1972, raised their children there, and have made it their home for more than 50 years. They were drawn to the home, George explained, because he grew up just two doors down and fondly remembers the Darst family that always welcomed neighborhood children into the home during his childhood days. His background in the construction business and Janella's love for landscaping have allowed them to modernize the house for a comfortable lifestyle over the years while preserving the characteristics that make it a neighborhood showplace. George can often be found sitting on the porch greeting neighbors and passersby, while Janella tends to her magnificent gardens. It's the neighborhood the old house in the old neighborhood that's important to me. And I, I do spend a lot of my late years on this front porch, sitting on that porch, watching what's going on in the neighborhood. A lot of people stop in. And do yeah, that. and people, if they see me on the porch, they'll stop and, and come up and sit a spell. And that that's, what more could you want? For your best friends to come sit and talk to you for, for about what you and they had in common through the years. The city of Bristol, Tennessee is delighted to present the 2024 Holston Historic District Award to George and Janella McClellan of 904 7th Avenue for their loving attention to their craftsman bungalow in one of Bristol's most scenic neighborhoods. Thank you to everybody that, uh, people just don't know how many man hours go in a house to renovate it and it becomes a part of you. And uh, as I sit on my porch in my last years, that's where I want to be. That's it. Um, so tonight we're going to present the Citywide Award and the Stewardship Award to Gary and Teresa Slagle at 912 Anderson Street. Nestled at 912 Anderson Street, this majestic two-story Victorian was for many years the home of Dr. George M. Peebler, an ear, nose, and throat specialist with a thriving practice on nearby 6th Street. Built just before the turn of the century, the home features double-entry doors, a handsome porch boasting 24 fluted columns atop marble cap pedestals, and ornate features that are a testament to the skilled artisans who crafted them more than a century ago. Dr. Peebler died in 1935, but the home remained in his family until the 1970s, housing several families before being carved into apartments and falling into disrepair.
Gary and Teresa Slagle purchased the home in 2016, primarily to save it from demolition, and embarked on an ambitious journey to restore the home to its original splendor. Over the course of the next eight years, they worked tirelessly to transform the magnificent structure back into a single-family home, touching every surface on the home's interior, and removing overgrown weeds, repairing and replacing siding, rebuilding columns and duplicating ornamental features, and rebuilding the wraparound porch that has long made the home a Bristol showplace. Today, the Peevler Slagle home serves as a reminder of what is possible and has inspired other restorations along Anderson Street and in nearby neighborhoods. I like the access to downtown. It's walkable. Um, everything's close by. So if you want to just go downtown and hear music or listen, listen to uh, whatever. Yeah. Good neighbors, too. Yeah, we've got great neighbors around us. Hard to buy good neighbors anymore. <laughs> I mean, we're Bristolians, born. We, we love it here, we're planning on doing it. We always like history, so I think this mm -hmm. kind of fits us just fine. We like our antiques and we like our uh, comfortable ability, I guess, what you would say, but we like it, it's just, it's home. I always it's have present. loved this house since I was a little girl. So yeah. it's hopefully getting back to its bones where it was. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to save a piece of it, because I've seen so much of it gone. The City of Bristol, Tennessee is honored to present the 2024 Citywide Award to Gary and Teresa Slagle and to also recognize them with the City's Esteemed Stewardship Award that recognizes the incredible perseverance required to save one of Bristol's grand old homes from demolition and return it to its former glory. Thank you, Bristol, for making this our home for the last 70 plus years. But um, thank you for the opportunities of uh, not burning the house down or tearing it down for a car lot. We love Bristol. Thank you. I'm a little overwhelmed tonight. That's, that's some good stuff. My wife and I came to Bristol 10 years ago, and we knew that there was something different about this town, and it's been good to us. And tonight's proof, proof of that goodness. I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight to celebrate these great people and their historic homes. Let's give them another round of applause. Um, I also want to give a special thanks, she doesn't know this, to Catherine Brillhart um, for her tireless efforts in helping our community for many years. She's a former mayor, and, and she, she just does so much, more than I even know. Uh, she does a lot of behind-the-scenes work for us. She's called uh, my co-chair, but she just makes me look good. So thank you, Catherine. So I don't know if you all have ever heard this or not, but Benjamin Franklin said that you can learn a lot about a community by looking at the condition of its cemeteries. And I think this analysis can cross over into how we treat the properties which our deceased built. When we respect a historic building, we make a conscious, intelligent decision to remember our past and save its tangible evidence for future generations. We preserve physical spaces that represent important times in our history and the contributions of those that came before us remain in place with integrity and pride. You all, thank you so much for coming out and be sure to get some more food on your way out and we'll see you next year.